If you want your question answered on the show, y'all, please email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. If you're a Patreon member, make sure you send the email to askpoorminds at gmail.com and put in the subject that you are a Patreon member so you can get your question answered on the show. That's askpoorminds at gmail.com. Okay, you want to read the first one? Hey, ladies, I need some advice. I'm currently pregnant right now. This will be my first child. The guy I've been dating for a year now got me pregnant, but he has three kids already and said he doesn't want any more kids right now and he wants me to get an abortion. I really don't want to have an abortion, but ever since I told him I'm pregnant, I could feel distance and tension between us. Not sure what I should do. Are you, you want me to answer first? I know what you're going to say, but I'm going to just say this. What do you think I'm going to say? I know what you're going to say. What am I going to say? If a man don't want you to have his kid, don't have his kid. But I will say this. She's right. It, but it is your body. But at the same time, I want you to know you pregnant and he, you feel the distance between him. It's going to get worse and you're going to be a single mother. Listen to me. You're going to be a single mother. You about to be doing this shit on your own. He don't let you know. He don't want nothing to do with you or that baby. So I'm just letting you know you can have your child. Children are a blessing. But that man is not about to be there for you. So, and he already got three kids already. He done told you he don't want that baby. If you want to have that baby, have that baby for you and yourself. But don't think that this man is going to all of a sudden look at you different and want to be with you because he's not. Yes, and I don't know. I'm always an advocate for doing what you want with your body. Like, don't let nobody tell you what to do with your body. Agreed. But at the same time, yeah, if a nigga don't want a baby with you, I always think it's a terrible idea to have a kid with somebody who don't want the kid. Because, like Lick said, you're going to be on your own. So you have to ask yourself, are you ready for that financial responsibility? Because you're going to be doing everything by mm -hmm. yourself. You yeah. know what I mean? Don't expect no help from him. Ciao. So, so good luck to you, sis. Good luck, sis. Hey, ladies, keep this anonymous because y'all be drunk by this segment. <laughs> no, me. Because I'm over here sweating, bitch. She know the show. You a good listener. Okay. If you are all wondering, I'm 22, a young fashion designer student and a lit bitch. A few months ago, I was minding my business and met this man on my street and he randomly started speaking to me, which most people do because I find I have good energy. This man is way older than me and he was very sure about wanting to send me money since I am self-employed. I was only speaking to this man for 10 minutes, told him my Instagram and never saw him again. Please tell me why in the world he has recently been messaging me, asking me to send me my number so he could send me money. I told him I don't expect money from anyone off the street. <laughs> you don't want well, that's your first problem. That's the first problem already, but anyway. However, he has insisted, so I, can, I just continue to send him my cash app and keep it real short because there's really nothing to speak on. Should I continue to allow this random person to send me money? I made it very clear I do not seek anything, want anything, and he continues sending money and claims he will ask for my hand in marriage. I have always attracted what I deserve, so all men in my life have given me nice things without having to ask. I'm in a relationship and I'm very happy, but if you're going to send money, I'm going to receive it. Am I wrong for that? No. No. Let me tell I mean, you something. Some people might feel like you are though, because I mean, some people feel like if you're in a relationship, you shouldn't be accepting things from. But other I feel people. like if she tells her man and she like makes him aware of it, because we always said that cheating is when your spouse doesn't know what you're doing, no matter what it is. Right. So I feel like as long as you tell your spouse and you like be like open with him about it. I don't see the problem. But then also, you just gonna have to split it. And also, we just went to, uh, shout out to Weezy. We just went to Weezy's show uh, that pre uh, pre premiered on Fuse. Mm -hmm. So she has a show called Sex Sales. And one of the topics on the show was actually pay pigs. This man might be a pay pig. If you don't know what a pay pig is, it's somebody that gets off on literally giving you money. They don't want sex. Mm -hmm. They don't want to take you on dates. They don't want nothing. They just like... They like financial domination. Right. So he might be like a pay pig that he don't want nothing to do with you but just to give you money. Like, and there really are people like that. So, yeah, I mean, that might be his thing and that might be what he's interested in. Right, so you may just be, you may just have, you know, hit your luck and found you a little pay pig. But I do feel like, yeah, you need to be careful and tread lightly with the fact that you are in a relationship. You yeah, know I what think I mean? you need to tell your, lose your nigga. Yeah, I wouldn't lose my nigga. That. I think you need to tell your nigga what's going on and see how he feels. And if he, if he has a problem with it, um, I wouldn't do it out of respect. 
But that's why I said some niggas don't. Because you know what? Well, girl, he just sound crazy. Well, not only that, but you have to realize some men are actually more understanding than what we give them. You know, like girls in the sex industry, they do be having boyfriends. They do be understanding. Not saying that you're in the sex industry, but what I'm saying is just have a conversation with your boyfriend. He might just be understanding. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, because he might need $50. That's what I'm saying. You just never know. So I feel like have a conversation with your man. <laughs> if he is cool with it, as long as you're open and say, like, oh, he likes me, but I don't like him, babe. I'm just trying to, you know, it's money. And see what he says. If he don't like it, simple. Cut it off. Yeah. If he cool with it, continue. I would definitely let him know, though, for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely let him know. Okay, next question. I'm 22 years old, and I've been fucking this 42-year-old man. Ooh. Let's just say we know each other from around the way. Each time around we Around the way? That sounds like they kill. <laughs> How y'all know each other from around the way? He 42, you 22. I mean, you know, maybe she be outside. Like, maybe she be seeing him at the club. And nope. she, when I when I was like 23, I was fucking with a nigga that was like 40. I mean, I was too, but we didn't know each other from around the way, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say we know each other from around the way. Each time we fuck, it's the same old missionary position. And sometimes we go one round a night. He curls up in my pussy so quick. And when he nut, he just be so weak. Like, he just can't go anymore. <laughs> Last time we fucked, I asked him for another round. He said, what you think? I'm a robot? Sorry, I did their voice because they remind me of somebody. I know exactly what voice that we was. That's why I looked at you like, what? <laughs> we actually do the same routine all the time when we fuck. He play with my pussy and eat it. Then I suck his dick and we fucking missionary. Then he come. I really thought older guys would be more spontaneous and adventurous, no. but not this one. My question is, should I tell him about it and we talk about it or should I just keep fucking him? I really feel like I shouldn't have to tell a nigga that, that's this old. What the fuck? to do in bed unless I'm teaching him something. Look, all niggas be tied. They be tired. I, okay. They don't be having no motherfucking energy a lot of the time. That's why they made the blue pill. But not only for them old ass well, niggas. Well, I feel like this. I just, it's not that for every man. But I feel like for most of the part, men just never learn how to fuck because women don't say anything. I mean, men never learn how to fuck because women don't say anything. But I feel like once you reach a certain age, men don't have as much stamina anymore. Unless you're someone who is very active. Like if you're active and you work out I'm all the time. I'm not gonna lie because Big Papa be busting my back down, bitch. He probably, I mean, well, nah, he don't look like he work out. No, well, don't do that because what? he do work out. Don't do my man like that. He do work out, bitch. He do? He be doing them little ropes. <laughs> That's working out? Yeah, you ever picked up them ropes? They heavy. And he picked my big ass up. That's a workout. He be... He be doing the damn thing. He in his 40s, bitch. Don't do that. Not all 40-year-olds just be I tired. Just, I said, I didn't say all. I said, unless you're active. You said that he gets active. He works out. He be pushing them ropes. Okay. Well, he's active. Okay. So, personally, the niggas that I done fucked with that was in a 40s, they was not that active. So, I mean, them niggas be tired. They be tired. They can only go one round and that's just really what it be like. And I just feel like a lot of the time too with older men, a lot of shit has been going on obviously for years and centuries. Like niggas been eating pussy and shit like that for a long time. Not centuries. <laughs> <laughs> Cleopatra was getting that thing. Hey, she was though <laughs> by all the pharaohs. <laughs> But, yeah, like, I just feel like shit wasn't talked about. Like, kind of what we talked about on the episode, we were talking about the DMX song. Like, niggas for a long time didn't really used to, like, niggas to admit. Was, niggas, niggas didn't start admitting they was eating pussy till Lil Wayne said And it. I feel like a lot of the time, men don't really just care about pleasing women because that's just what it's always been in the past. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, I feel like if you want certain things and you want him to please you, you have to let him know what you like and what you dislike. You just laying there and going with the flow every time. I mean, he think you satisfied. He think you good and like you, so you gotta be more vocal because i feel like his main focus obviously from what you're saying to me is not pleasing you and not only that i mean you didn't say why you were fucking with this man like is this your boyfriend is this your sugar daddy is he a bdb, is he a BDB? like why do you keep fucking him if you're not enjoying it so if he if it's not beneficial to you in any way shape or form why are you still fucking him girl but yeah. if you want to continue fucking him, you need to open your mouth and say something. Yeah, be vocal. We say this all the time. Ladies, stop fucking these men if you're not having an orgasm. It serves you no purpose. 
Like, if you just fucking with a nigga for dick only and you're not even have an orgasm, tell him. And if he you tell him and nothing change, get some new dick. Because we're not on that shit no more. All right. We ain't got time to waste. All right. Last question. Hey, ladies. I'm 31, and I've been dealing with this guy that's 40 for almost two years. He's nice looking, makes really good money. He's a chef, owns his home and car, and he's super sweet, but I'm sick and tired of him. I want to add that I own my own home, car, and I make good money as well. He's so arrogant and cocky. He's always talking about himself. When we have regular conversation, he always brings up the subject. He always brings the subject back to him or he will bring up his age and why he knows so much his favorite line is why can't you just agree with me and the kicker is he's a know-it-all it's getting to the point that i just get irritated when he even opens his mouth he already knows i don't like these these things about him because i expressed it at one point i wanted to come to a happy medium but i don't think he can help it i think he wants me to stroke his ego and wants to be in control all the time but i'm not with it I want to end things with him, but I don't know how. He tells me all the time how much he loves me, and I just don't feel anything. I think I'm going to break his heart when I tell him this, but can you blame me? How can I end this entanglement? Leave. I don't know why. Let me tell y'all something. It's okay to be selfish sometimes. As long as I'm open with you with the communication and I tell you, hey, this is how I feel, and this is what I want, and I'm moving on, you broke his heart, but that's on him to heal and take the steps to heal. As long as you was real and tell him how you feel, because all you're doing is making it worse by keeping it going on because you're scared to hurt his feelings. So be open and let the shit go. When y'all prolong things, y'all making the situation worse. That doesn't help. Yeah, I just feel like if you're not happy, you have to end things. You know what I mean? You can't be concerned about how the other person gonna feel sometimes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that does sound. It can come off a little bit selfish, but honestly, you have to look out for you first. Right. So it's like if you're not happy and you're no longer in, in emotionally invested into this situation, then you gotta let that shit go. I mean, he gonna be all right. Trust me, that nigga gonna be all right. He gonna find him another bitch eventually. Everybody does. Everybody does. I mean, that's life. It goes you're on. You're gonna find. Uh, yeah, you're gonna find somebody else. He's gonna find somebody else, bitch. No matter how devastated you think he gonna be, he gonna be all he right. He gonna be all right. Like you're not the girl for him, and he's not the man for you. And just like you're feeling, he probably feels that shit too. So even though he's telling you that he loves you, that disconnect that you feel, he definitely feels that too. So don't waste any more of your time. Girl. It probably just yeah, it just ran its course. Mm -hmm. Do what you gotta do, girl. Yeah. You know so what to make do. sure y'all email us. I'm a little lit. <laughs> Make sure y'all email us at ASKPOURMINDS mm. at gmail.com. Yeah. 